Welcome in the film room presented by Hyper Ice here on this week 10 edition with the Super Bowl champion Isaiah Stanback about to break it down for you on the Telestrator. I'm Kyle Yeomans. Glad you're with us. And it's going to be the ground game that is going to take center stage when the Cowboys take on the Green Bay Packers up at Lambeau Field this week. One reason is because it's going to be 32 degrees. It's going to be chilly. It might be a little frigid at times. However, it's because both teams can run the football and both defenses struggle to stop the run. So, Keep that in mind. Where are we starting on this one? We're going to start on a ground game for the Dallas Cowboys. And I know it's a question mark right now whether or not Zeke's going to be available. But even if Zeke's not there, we have a TP. But one of the main ingredients that I want everybody to pay attention to is the defensive front of the Green Bay Packers. Because the last time we faced a front similar to this was against the Los Angeles Rams. Okay. And that ended up in a victory. That also ended up in us being very successful on the ground game. So, what is that front? Let me take a look at it real quick. All right, right here, I want you guys to pay attention to these defensive linemen. You have three true defensive linemen. Once you guys see these guys down, these guys are true defensive linemen. What do you have on the outside? You have these defensive ends that are in a stand-up position. You guys see they're in this track start position. Their job is to primarily be to maintain containment, stay on the outside, whether it's a pass play or run play. What does that allow for you to do? Well, when these guys decide to come up the field and outside, and if you're able to somehow, some way, go ahead and manipulate and control these guys inside, then all of a sudden you have these big gaping holes, and that is exactly what the Dallas Cowboys want. Their run support is not present on the second level. You have one guy at the second level whenever you decide to have a front like this, and the next support system is gonna be way up here at the safety position. It allows for you to have a great run game. Let's go back and see how we did against the Los Angeles Rams. You see right here, bam, pause it right there. These guys are coming down. We have a double team coming right here. All right, we're kicking out right here with the defensive end against Aaron Donald. We got Big T Smith handling his own, and we have a man on right here. Where did I say the run support was going to be? The run support at the second level is coming right here from that one linebacker. The next man that can come up here and have an impact is coming all the way from the safety position. But what Ezekiel Elliott sees is an opportunity to hit this lane right here or opportunity to cut this thing back right here. He decides to take the ladder. Boom, jump cut, coming back outside. Again, now all of a sudden, he's on to the second level. That run support that came all the way from the top is not going to make it. Sorry, you're not fast enough. That is an opportunity that we have present. It worked against the Rams. Now, now we have to see if it's going to work against Green Bay. And Green Bay, one of the bottom five teams in the NFL in terms of rushing yards allowed per game. Dallas rushed for 163 in this game against the Rams. They're fourth against the rush in the NFL. So one time doing it against a similar front and a team that was good at stopping the run. Now you get to see a similar front and a team that's bad at stopping the run. However, the Cowboys aren't much better on their defensive side of the no. football, and they're going to see a one-two punch of their own this week with Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon. Uh, really kind of a Tony Pollard, Zeke feel. One's physical, one is elusive. Right. What did the Cowboys need to do to slow them down? Dallas is going to have to stay true to their assignments, Kyle. One of the things that Dallas does not do or have not done well up to date is defend the run. They went out there and get big Jonathan Hankins up in there, but we still are giving up an average of 145 yards on the ground. So, with the struggles that Aaron Rodgers has been sustaining – to date, you can best believe that they're going to try to take advantage of where the Dallas is weak at, and that's typically up the middle of the defense. So right here, I want you guys to see these guys are in 11 personnel. We got the receivers up top. We got the receivers outside. They like to take their receiver, their young receiver, Watson, and run him in a, in a motion across the formation a lot of times. What does that do? It does two things. It lets you know whether or not you're in man. Okay, so it's a man declaration. Does this man follow us or does he stay there? Also, what it does is it creates misdirection and a lot of confusion for the second level defenders. Now these guys' eyes are gonna be all over the place. They're gonna have their eyes going across to where the motion is. And a lot of time that play now comes back backside and you're allowed to come right up the middle of the defense. Let's see what happens here. Again, there goes the motion across. You see that the man, boom, right here, pause it for me. All right, that man decided to carry over, okay, as he comes across in motion. Had they decided to keep the ball there, Kyle, they have numbers. You have a man on, you have a man on, and his job is gonna be simply to do what? Outrun this defender that is coming from the backside. So that's not what happened here. They decided to go ahead and carry this play out all right, now the play is coming front side. Now you have this whole offensive line that is doing a great job of creating a wall, literally a wall, okay, right here. These guys are walling off this entire side. You have a backside cutoff, and now remember I talked about how that misdirection causes the guys to jump over? This, these linebackers have jumped outside. 
this stand up and jump outside. So now you have this man going across from the formation. The only people that are actually going front side of the play are these three guys right here, and they are getting taken care of by the offensive line. It allows Aaron Jones to now work up to the second level, make a get cut. We know how, how elusive he is. We know how explosive he is. He's able to get all the way upfield, doesn't get tackled for 15 yards down the way. Dallas cannot allow for that. You know this guy is dangerous. You know their running scheme is set up perfectly to, to take advantage of what we've been showing on film. So that's what they can do if they go to the inside and they run in between the tackles. However, what can they do if they want to get to the edge? Because they can certainly do that as well. I give you guys a little sample size of what they like to do, right? So right here, again, Watson, what I said, he likes to go across in motion. A lot of times it's just to create some issues for these second level. We want to get these guys to jump outside and then so the offensive linemen have the edge. But what happens when they decide to actually give him the rock? Well, let's Let's take a peek right here. Snap the ball, boom, short motion comes across, right here, boom, pause it right there. Right off the back, because of what happened last time, where's everybody going? The running back, AJ Dillon is coming downhill. So these guys said, nah, we're not gonna get, we're not gonna get confused and get and get willy whopped by this, by this <laughs> receiver coming across. So these guys are now taking their attention to the play side. You see all the offensive linemen are now going where? Going down, going down, going down. So naturally, as you see a big 247 pound running back going to the left and all the offensive linemen going there, now your last thing you're concerned about is a guy who's been giving you the fake all this time. This time they decided to hand it to him, but now when the only person that actually sees it is this safety who's coming downhill. The safety does not see this his receiver coming to go ahead and give a nice little crack back. The receiver gets the ball. He's coming around the edge, and it's an easy walk-in for Watson. You have to stay to your details. You have to stay keyed in on your keys and make sure that you handle your responsibilities because if you get too honed in on A.J. Dillon and on Aaron Jones, that receivers will be the ones that I take advantage of you. Either way, the ground game is going to be very, very intricate for both sides, whether you're the Green Bay Packers or the Dallas Cowboys. They've got some inside-out ground game that the Cowboys could certainly take advantage of if they stay true to their assignments because then it makes them one-dimensional because they haven't been able to throw the football a whole lot, but they certainly can run it. That's going to do it here for us on Film Room, presented by Hyper Ice for Isaiah Stanback. I'm Kyle Yeomans. We'll see you next week.